What do you want? I brought you some gas shares. <laughs> Was that you on the phone? Yeah. I had to leave Henry downstairs. Those lift doors close a bit fast and I thought he might catch his ears. Sit down. <laughs> Don't speak to me like that. Shut up. No. You listen and keep it zipped. One, I do have business in this office, with you in fact. Two, you won't mention my little visit to Pamela. And three, if you don't keep quiet, I shall be forced to conduct this interview at 17 Anti Rhinum Close, Frodsham. You to be nice. Sydney, you are a mean, inconsiderate, conceited, thoughtless, two time in flea, which, as you were about to point out, is none of my business. Only it is my sister you're taking advantage of, and I don't like it. Not too much, or she won't recognise you. But what is needed is a spontaneous showing of your appreciation. <laughs> no, you didn't. You gave her 24 coupons and told her which petrol station to pick up at. However, your next idea involves putting those glasses to good use. You've decided to throw a surprise party for your favourite stenographer next Friday. Yes, of course I will, Sydney. I'll look after the liquid refreshment. Well, that's very good of you, Sydney. And if you don't agree, the lovely Mrs. MacDonald will feel compelled to make a mysterious telephone call to Auntie Rainham Close. And if that's not enough, she'll get every up here to sit on you. <laughs>